Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roshan and in today's video we are going to take a look at the AOSP extended ROM for LG G3. Uh, so it is an unofficial version and when I say LG G3, all the variants under LG G3 comes into this category. So I am going to mention out few variants uh, which are the AT&T version, the uh, Sprint or T-Mobile, I don't know. Or, uh, and the, the prominent, the common one is the international version. So international version is LG G3. D855 which one which the one I'm holding in my hand is the international version so yes we'll do the installation part and the review part so I'm insisting you guys to watch the installation part if you are new to this otherwise you don't have to at least you can see the new boot animation if you watch the installation part so so if you're not interested in watching the installation part I'll put a timestamp somewhere here and you can skip to the review part uh, but before moving on if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, when you subscribe please hit the bell icon like share subscribe and uh, comment if you have any issues with this build or uh, anything that you want me to test out any room that you want me to test out for this uh, lg g3 just let me know in the comments and i can uh, surely test it and uh, give you a review and uh, if you're wondering why i'm using this lg g3 and only putting out uh, roams uh, based on lg g3 because i only have this phone and uh, it's like five six years old and i cannot upgrade because of my financial situation so if you want to help me buy a new phone then you can uh, I'll, i have a link down in the description for paypal you can uh, donate me as much as you want and help me buy a new phone so if you cannot do that just subscribing like share comment will be appreciated and yes without any further ado let's get started so i have already placed the rom package and the g apps package in my internal storage so as you can see here and uh, yes let's reboot to recovery so if you're wondering i'm using resurrection remix rom right now so go to advanced and reboot to recovery so first what you need to do is you need to back up your data and also maintain a battery percentage of 75 percent so first go to wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache data and system and swipe to confirm so that will wipe everything then go to home click on install and just select the ROM package and click on add more zips and select the gapps package just swipe to confirm so that will start flashing so it will take like seven minutes uh, of total and at least the setting setting process and everything will take like 10 12 minutes in complete process will take only that much time now reboot system it is going to be the first boot so it will take some time like five six seven minutes and based on your battery percentage the performance might differ so that's why I'm asking you to make the battery percentage at least 75% so that will give you optimal performance and uh, yes I'm uh, fast forwarding this video obviously you might you already understood that I guess so the boot animation is nice so uh, I've been using this ROM for the like 3-4 uh, days uh, I've been using multiple ROMs simultaneously so uh, this is one of them and I can go ahead and say it's the best ROM by far I've tested uh, I can it it is better than liquid remix it is better than pixel experience and it is far better than lineage OS and uh, resurrection remix so uh, I'm really impressed with this ROM the um, there are lots of pros and uh, and a little bit of cons but uh, about cons I'll talk in later part of this video but now let's talk about the pros so first is the heating issue I don't have any heating issue it's like very minor and uh, see now it's at uh, like 18 now it's like at 19 percent and still it's very cool uh, i don't have any issues if you have watched my previous videos then you know how much i like the google assistant so the google assistant trigger on this is very good and uh, it's works as it should work and based on my device capability it works really fine and uh, it recognizes my voice very nicely so that's a good thing about this room and uh, by default you have the pixel launcher so that's a good thing and uh, and it it really gives you that stock appearance um everything is good about this room and you have the um let me think uh, you have this animation slider 
so you can reduce the animation duration uh, animation scale uh, that is more likely uh, like in it is 1x and you have 0.5x if you want to reduce that but in here you have the slider so I can set the um, animation scale to 0.7 so it gives you nice animation and also speed so that's possible in this and uh, I think uh, this is unofficial build but still by far the best one I have tested uh, of the LG G3 drones and uh, I thank the developer Heartstyler. So he's the one who's maintaining this this particular room and bunch of others. So very thanks to them. So I'll put the links down in the description for you to download this room and the G apps package so that you can flash them. So as you can see, there are some downsides to it, but uh, other than that, I don't think so. It's a pretty very good room. So double tap, it works. And uh, if I unlock my device. and uh, you can see the apex wallpaper that's the default wallpaper here and you can see this uh, pixel launcher is doing some weird thing all when i started using this this has been doing this weird thing it just asks you to do, pull this up i know i do this but you know this comes back again so that's the issue with this pixel launcher other than that, i don't have any issues with this and uh, to the left we have the uh, uh, Google now which works exactly as it should be and uh, if I say okay Google See it's uh, perfect it working fine. It's working fine and it really recognizes everything and uh, Yes, other than that, I don't think so. There's anything I need to talk about Yes, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye